Hello everyone, I am Aruna, Assistant Professor in Department of Microbiology, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we discuss about the topic Carbohydrates and their classification. Carbohydrates are the main sources of energy in the body. These carbohydrates are widely distributed both in animals and plant tissues and they are also called as uh, saccharide. In Greek, uh, saccharide means uh, sugar. A carbohydrate is a biological molecule consisting of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and atoms and they have molecular formula CH2O-N. Some carbohydrates also contain additional groups like nitrogen, phosphorus or sulfur. What is the definition of carbohydrates? The carbohydrates are defined as polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketones or substance that yield such compounds on hydrolysis. What is meant by aldehyde? The compound having aldehyde groups. What is meant by ketones? The compound having ketones group. Next, the role of carbohydrates in living organism. Carbohydrates perform numerous roles in living organism. Polysaccharides serve for the storage of energy, for example, starch and glycon, and as structural components, for example, cellulose in plants and chitin in arthropods. And the 5 carbon monosaccharide ribose is an important component of coenzymes. For example, adenine triphosphate, flavin adenine dinucleotide and nicotinide adenine dinucleotide and the backbone of the genetic molecule known as RNA. The related deoxyribose is a component of DNA. Saccharides are important biomolecules that play key roles in the immune system, fertilization, preventing pathogenesis, blood clotting and development. Next, the sources of carbohydrates, cereals, wheat, rice, potatoes, sugar can, fruits, bread, milk. These are the rich sources of carbohydrates. Next, uh, the classification of carbohydrates. There are three major classes of carbohydrates, monosaccharide, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides means simple sugar. Oligosaccharides they contain three mono uh, three to ten monosaccharides units linked together by glycosidic uh, linkage. Polysaccharides they contain more than ten monosaccharides units. Now let's talk about each groups one by one. First is monosaccharide. The monosaccharides are are the simplest of the carbohydrates. These monosaccharides are further classified as aldolose or ketosis uh, and it depends on the presence of aldehyde and ketones groups. If the monosaccharide have ketone groups, they are also called as ketosis. Uh, if the monosaccharide have aldehyde group, uh, then they are also called as uh, aldolose. Monosaccharides are colorless uh, crystalline solids that are freely soluble in water but insoluble in non-polar solvent. Examples of monosaccharides include uh, glucose, uh, fructose and galactose. Next, a disaccharide. Uh, they contain uh, two monosaccharide units for example maltose, lactose and sucrose. Next, oligosaccharides. They contain 3 to 10 monosaccharides units linked together by glycosidic linkage. A large number of oligosaccharides have been prepared by partially breaking down more complex carbohydrates. Uh, more oligosaccharides are naturally found in plants. For example, raffinose which contain more monosaccharide units. Alpha D glucose, uh, beta D galactose, and beta D fructose. Oligosaccharide have, can have many functions, including cell recognition and cell binding. Next, polysaccharide. Uh, they contain uh, ten or uh, more than ten monosaccharides units. Uh, this polysaccharide also called as a uh, glycon. Uh, polysaccharides are 
for the classified as homopolysaccharide and heteropolysaccharide homopolysaccharides uh, they contain uh, only type of uh, monosaccharides units some monosaccharides serve as storage form of monosaccharides that are used as fuel uh, examples of monosaccharides are starch glycogen cellulose and chitin heteropolysaccharide they contain two or more uh, different monosaccharides units the uh, heteropolysaccharide also called as heteroglycans heteropolysaccharide provide extra cellular support for organism of all kingdoms for examples the right layer of the bacterial cell envelope is a composed in a pot of heteropolysaccharide built from two alternating monosaccharides units in animal tissues the extra cellular space is occupied by several types of heteropolysaccharides which form a matrix uh, that holds uh, individual cells together and provide protections safe and support to cells tissues and organs thank you